Greetings, comic book fans. This is Blue Goblin with a uh, two-part video comic book review blog for books that came out on the week of April 8th, 2009. Part one's going to deal with mainly mainly just DC books. Part two is going to deal with Marvel books. Four DC books, four Marvel books. Let's get started with Booster Gold, number 19. Now with 100% more Booster Gold, as the cover promises. This particular issue of Booster Gold was actually re uh, really good. This is a very good read, a very underrated series in my opinion. I don't really see that many reviews of Booster Gold around here on YouTube or hardly anywhere else on the internet. I'd like to see, you know, more people review Booster Gold because it's an it's a very nice series. It's not the best in the world, but it's definitely worth it's definitely worth reading. It's definitely worth buying as far as I'm concerned, you know. Uh right now we got Booster Gold from the present and Booster Gold from the past trying to figure out uh, how to repair the time stream after, you know, the Egyptian knives were stolen and, and everything like that. And Booster Gold's sister, uh, Michelle Goldstar, she uh, ends up disappearing. Where she is, we don't know. But that's pretty much it in a nutshell. It's very nicely done. Uh, I'd say go ahead and pick it up. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, next up. Titans, number 12. This is part one of Death Trap. This is going to be a crossover miniseries with uh, Vigilante. Uh, Sean McKeever? Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to have to uh, pull a Simon Cow here and say, it's readable, yet it's going to be forgettable. You know, is it worth reading now? Yeah, I'd say so. Is it going to be worth reading, say, in about five, maybe ten years? No. <laughs> it's not going to be, this isn't going to be worth shit in the future. I mean, I mean, Sean McKee, usually I was, you know, told that Sean McKeever is a really great writer. He does really great stuff, but honestly, this is just average, just blah for me. I might get the, re I, I, I'm going to continue with Titans because th there's just a part of me that feels that this series is going to kick up, is going to be kicked up a notch here in the future. Plus, you know me, I'm a sucker for the Titans for this particular lineup. I'd say, I'd say read it if you want to, but I wouldn't suggest you buy it unless you want to collect that miniseries with the crossover with uh, Vigilante. Yeah, yeah. Now, next up, yeah, Batman, Battle for the Cow, number two. I, as I'm sure a lot of other Batman fans, called it. The identity of this new Batman is revealed in this issue and isn't really that surprising. But, it, I guess it makes for a good story. Uh, Tony Daniel does some really nice writing in here. I've seen a lot of other reviewers on the internet. You know, I've been seeing a lot of mixed reviews. Some say this is good, some say this is bad. But, I'm not generally one of those comic book fans who likes to skim into, you know, with some exceptions here and there. I don't like to, you know, skip along and find spoilers and find, and find out what's going on in, like, in August of comic books or something like that, you know. You know, with like I said, with some exceptions, every once in a while, I'll tend to you know look and see what's coming in the comic book uh, coming in a couple of months. You know, but there are a lot of people who say they already know what's going to happen at the end of Battle for the Cow. You know, so why even bother doing it? You know, I try to look past stuff like that, and I just tend to read a good story. This is this is a really good story. It's really nicely done. Um, it, it's definitely it's definitely worth buying. It's definitely worth reading. It's definitely worth having and collecting as a Batman fan. It's very nicely done. What happens on the last page of the story kind of surprised me. Didn't shock me, but it surprised me. You know that that's just me. It's just me. Now, before I put this before I put this book up and review it, I want to give out a special shout out to Fanboy D. He said not a lot of not a lot of good comic books came out this week, so he. He said this is a bad week for comic books. Well, my friend, I respect your opinions and I respect your sh and I like your videos, but you missed out on a real gem. 
Green Lantern number 39. Hell yeah. <laughs> We're getting closer and closer to Blackest Night. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Yes. Jeff Johns. Thank you, man. This is another this is another great book. I mean, come on. Fuck Final Crisis. Fuck Batman R.I.P. This is the series. This is a book to have for DC. I'll never get tired of saying these things. Number one, this is the book to have for DC. If you were literally forced to get just at least two DC titles, make it this one and make it Green Lantern Core. Green Lantern is the shining star for DC right now. Uh, the uh, Orange Lanterns come into coming to the play in this book and the guardians make it personal that's all I'm gonna say I do not want to spoil anything nothing I don't want to spoil nothing this was an amazing book Jeff Johns you are the man you are the man thank you for keeping thank you for keeping this book interesting as hell blackest night is so gonna kick the crap out of final crisis I'll I, I can't emphasize that enough. This is an amazing book. Pick it up. You will not be disappointed. Well, that's it for part one. Stay tuned for part two, because in part two, we're going we're gonna to cover four Marvel books. So until then, I'll see you later.